Hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, coming to my session. Uh, my name is Vivian Hu. I'm one of the uh, uh, maintainer of the CNCF was my project. So uh, today I want to show you how to build an uh, efficient and portable uh, LM workloads uh, on the uh, Edge Cloud. So uh, since my session is a tutorial session, so uh, I will give um, a brief concept uh, explanation first, and then we will have three demos. Uh, the first demo is to build um, a web chatbot uh, for the open source light language models. And the second demo is to build a, a rug-based light language model applications. And the um, uh, third demo is to um, to show uh, how, we, how can we use this OpenAI compatible API server. And then we will have a bonus, uh, use um, existing uh, container tools to manage your uh, light language model workloads. So if you have a computer, uh, you can uh, follow, my, uh, follow me uh, step by step. And um, at the end of the session, I think you, uh, at least you will have a running chatbot uh, on your own machine. So let's get started. So uh, why we use uh, um, WASM-based uh, light language model uh, inference. So the first thing is that why we use open source level models, why we not use um, uh, OpenAI or Cloud3, uh, because the um, open source light language model is as good as uh, OpenAI. Uh, the gap between the um, closed source the, uh, light language model and the uh, open weight models is uh, uh, close to zero. Uh, you can see that the Lama 3 400 billion uh, model can catch up the uh, GPT-40. So this is, uh, these are the two uh, uh, benchmarks uh, between the uh, open source like model Lama 3 8, 8 billion and the cloud source the uh, light long models. Uh, from the benchmark, we can see that the Lama 2, uh, the Lama 3 uh, 7 billion model um, can out out from the uh, Gemini Pro 1.5, and this image shows that uh, the upcoming release, the Lama 3 400 billion model, um, can beat the uh, GPT 4.0, GPT 4T. So we can see that uh, OpenAI has uh, uh, has lots of problems, but uh, when we use open source like model, because open source like model is as good as OpenAI. Yeah, so uh, with the open source model, uh, light long models, we will have privacy, we have full control of your data, and we will uh, cost less. So this is the um, uh, image that I uh, took from today's keynote. So in the AI era, we have one um, problem. There are lots of uh, AI hardwares. So uh, we may need to build, um, um, build Docker images for each platform, and even for different um, um, CUDA version. So, uh, uh, on the on the on the right uh, top of the slides, I put uh, some Docker images from the PyTorch official Docker images. So you can see that the uh, we, we will have uh, uh, CUDA uh, 11 and CUDA 12 Docker image um, um, version, and the uh, the CUDA version is uh, very large; it's uh, several gigabytes. Um, but uh, if we go to uh, if we go down uh, to this image, you can see that the WASM file is very small. It's only uh, several megabytes. So why we use WASM for uh, light language model workloads? Firstly, because it's lightweight and fast. The Intel runtime and the um, API and the uh, light long uh, the LM apps is less than 30 megabytes. And um, it can run well on uh, Raspberry Pi and the JSON uh, device. It can run edge devices. And uh, it also has a full native GPU uh, accelerator support, which means that we can run, uh, we can uh, leverage the uh, full GPU's uh, speed to accelerate our uh, light language models. Applications and uh, more importantly, it's, it's, it's cross-platform. Uh, it can run on Nvidia CUDA. It can run on uh, Apple uh, M chips. It can run uh, um, MPUs. And you don't need to you know, recompile your application. You just need to compile it um, in your own computer, and then it can run different uh, applic uh, different platforms. So we have um, an open source like uh, an open source project called uh, Lama Edge. Uh, Lama Edge is the um, project built on 
top of uh, lambda CVP and uh, was my runtime. So there is no um, Python dependency. So um, the language is very uh, is very uh, small and lightweight. Uh, it's only it's only a WASM file. <laughs> And uh, uh, this WASM file is portable and uh, deployable, uh, de deployable because we use um, uh, Lama.cp and uh, the API server itself is uh, written in Rust, so we can improve uh, efficiency. And uh, since we only have one uh, one single uh, WASM application, so use this use WASM, you can uh, simplify your uh, development and uh, deployment workflow. Uh, you can just uh, uh, develop your application in your uh, in your MacBook, in your, uh, in your in your Windows, and then you can deploy it um, on uh, on all kinds of platforms. Uh, and uh, since the WASM, uh, we only have one WASM uh, file, and the uh, so the software attack chain is very short. We don't have any other uh, dependencies, so it's more uh, secure. And uh, uh, the language also supports uh, uh, a wide range of uh, LMs uh, like the um, text, uh, gen text generation light language models, the, uh, the vision uh, light language models, and the MOE models. And uh, <clears throat> you can only use one single command line to run the, uh, to, uh, to install and run the, uh, your uh, LM application. Uh, you don't need to sudo, uh, you don't need to sudo permission. And um, uh, it's kind of, since the WASM itself is a lightweight and a portable container, uh, it, you can use uh, container tools to manage its, uh, your uh, LM workloads. And um, finally, it's uh, it's open AI, it's open AI API compatible, so you can integrate your uh, the uh, your uh, your light language applications to any other uh, frameworks. And uh, one more thing is that uh, Lamage is a developer platform, so uh, you can use PyTorch and uh, Lama.cp to fine tune your model, and you can also use Launching or Lama Index to generate the uh, knowledge base and uh, vector collections if you want to build a rug application. And finally, you can use Lamage to run the uh, service. Uh, your service will be uh, lightweight and uh, portable. Okay, so we have uh, enough uh, uh, concepts. Uh, uh, I'm going to do uh, our first demo, and uh, uh, you can scan this uh, this QR code. Uh, this QR code is a web page that includes all the uh, all the command lines in my demo. So let's do the first one. So uh, the first one is uh, uh, quite simple. Uh, I will use this command line to build um, a web chatbot UI for the uh, Llama 3 uh, 8 billion model on your own device. So the first thing is, uh, oh, sorry. The first thing is that I will uh, copy and paste uh, this command line. So it's uh, uh, it's uh, it's the uh, interactive mode. So it will ask you, uh, it will uh, it will ask you before uh, uh, before uh, each step. So the first thing is that we will install the what's my runtime. Um, since I already installed, so I will choose number two, keep the current version, and then on. Um, um, we have a list for you to choose which model you want to run. Um, uh, basically, the Llama IG can support all the open source light longer model on Hugging Face. So these are some uh, 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 examples. You can uh, you can uh, you can run any models. So I will choose the uh, new release, the uh, Llama 3 8 billion model. So I will choose number four. And uh, then the uh, the uh, the CL2 will. Um, will remind you the prompt type, it's Llama uh, 3 chat. And then we will need to uh, uh, choose the running mode. There is an uh, API server with a, a chatbot web app and also the uh, CLI chat. Uh, I will choose the first one. And then uh, we will need to download the, um, the, the WASM file, the WASM file for building the API server. So uh, I already tr uh, downloaded one, so I will uh, use my... Uh, 
So then um, we will use this command line to run the, uh, to run the Llama 3 8 billion model. So uh, what's magic is the runtime we are using and the uh, NA preload is that uh, is the uh, was my NA, uh, so was the NA plugin to run the light longer model. And the, the auto means that we will, uh, the, uh, the runtime will uh, use your hardware to uh, accelerate the, uh, the application. And we are running the uh, Llama 3 8 billion model uh, in the GGUF format. And uh, uh, this is the um, uh, API server we are using. And uh, the prom tablets, uh, the prom, the prom tablets of Llama 3 8 bin model is the Llama 3 chat. So, and we will run it in the 8080 port. So, I will, yes. Uh, oh, sorry, so let me. Uh, because the uh, uh, 8080 uh, port is in use, so there is an arrow. Uh, so I will just use this command line to, uh, to, to run the Llama 3 8 billion model. Okay, it works now. So we can um, go to the browser and open the uh, local host uh, 8080. So we can ask a uh, um, simple question. Uh, where is Paris? So, um, now we have the, uh, the answer, Paris is the capital of France. And um, uh, we can also ask a following question. How about Singapore? So we can see that the uh, light mo the light language model can follow the uh, history. Uh, he knows that I'm asking the uh, Singapore the, uh, location, so it's answered quite well. And uh, okay, this is a log of this uh, uh, this inference, and uh, we can see that uh, uh, on my on my uh, M2 MacBook, the uh, TKS of Lama 3 8 billion is. Uh, uh, is 4.27. So uh, since uh, I'm, as I mentioned before, the LAM Edge is an open AI compatible API server. So if you don't like the uh, the, uh, the web UI, we can choose the uh, fancy one. Let's use the uh, lobby chat. So uh, lobby chat is um, uh, is an open based uh, uh, front end uh, chatbot UI. So we can go to setting. Okay. Yeah, we can do sighting and um, uh, as the light, uh, the language model. 
section. Uh, we can uh, uh, we can use uh, we can choose OpenAI and then uh, then uh, fill in uh, several random characters as the OpenAI key. Uh, it doesn't matter. And um, as the uh, API proxy address, uh, we can uh, choose the uh, oh, sorry we can input the local host as it's uh, uh, slash v1. It's a um, standard uh, OpenAI API uh, format. And um, then we can um, click on the um, get model list. Um, because the API server itself is OpenAI compatible, so we can use the um, uh, get model list to uh, to get the model uh, running on the uh, running on uh, localhost 8080. So it's a uh, Menta Llama 3 um, Bobby model. And uh, then we can go back to the uh, the chat uh, page and choose the model. Uh, we just uh, uh, so I'm going to ask um, uh, a similar question. Again. And you can see uh, as the log here, the, uh, the API server is answer answering my query in the uh, stream mode. Okay, it's done. So we got the, the same answer. So this is the first demo on build a web chatbot UI for the light language model on your own machine. And you will get an open AI compatible API server. You can integrate this open AI com this, uh, this API server with other frameworks. So let's go back to our slides. Um, the second demo is to build a, a rug-based uh, light language model applications. So, um, what is a rug? Uh, there are two images: the um, the left image. The left image is a uh, uh, general uh, uh, LM workflows. So, you uh, you send a question. Um, to the live, live language model, and the live model will answer your question with uh, with their own knowledge directly, just uh, uh, as uh, um, what I uh, what I showed before. But um, uh, when it comes to a rug uh, application, it's much more complicated. So uh, when you uh, when you send a question to the live live language model, instead of uh, the live model will answer you directly. Uh, we will have an embedding model. The embedding model will firstly convert your, your query into embeddings. And uh, the embedding model, uh, then the embedding model will uh, search the, uh, all the embeddings stored in the vector database based on your, uh, on your question. And uh, then the embedding model will uh, return the, uh, retrieval, the, uh, the retrieval results uh, to the light language model. And finally, the light, the light language model will answer your question uh, based on, on your question and, um, and uh, the uh, retrieval uh, context. So that's how uh, a rug work, uh, works. It will answer your question with the, uh, with the, uh, with, with, uh, with the outside uh, knowledge. Uh, the rug, uh, the uh, retrieval augmented uh, generation is a uh, uh, framework. It can help solve the hallucination problems of light, lang of light language model. Uh, rug will you know, attach the uh, domain specific knowledge to a model, so the model can answer more, uh, more accurate. So from the uh, workflow, uh, we can it requires a regular uh, chat model like Llama 3 8 billion. It also needs an embedding model. The embedding model will convert your query into embeddings, and uh, it will also search uh, similar embeddings into the uh, in the vector database. And then we will have a vector DB. The vector DB will store the uh, the your knowledge uh, embeddings, and then we will we will also need an uh, API server application. Um, to um, tie, um, to tie the light like, language model, the uh, embedding model, and the VDB together.
So uh, uh, lama edge is also uh, supports uh, also supports uh, uh, rug uh, on the server side. So we will have um, um, so to to run such a, a rug application, you will need to install the uh, what's my runtime is the LM runtime, and then you will need to uh, install the uh, API server, and uh, then you may need a, a web chat about UI, and then you will need download a chat model and an embedding model. And then you need to uh, start a QGrunt instance, and then you will need to uh, then you will need to run this long command to um, to start the uh, API server. So it's uh, um, uh, it's uh, it's complicated. So I want to demo uh, uh, here use the uh, Lama IG directly. I will use a tool that. Uh, uh, um, build 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 on top of Lama Edge, you know, which is called Gannet. Gannet is our uh, is one of our partner. Uh, he um, Gannet has a CLI tool that can help us um, build and run a rug based application uh, easily. So uh, let's do our uh, second demo. So we will use the, the GANET to build a rug application. Um, the default GANET shell two will uh, will uh, will run an uh, application a rug application with a Paris guide. Uh, the knowledge is from the uh, Paris Wikipedia. Uh, so uh, we can firstly we can run this command line to install the uh, GANET shell two and the uh, necessary softwares. So it will install the GAN SL2, and then it will install the uh, what's my runtime is the uh, LM runtime. Then it will install the uh, QGrunt banner. Uh, QGrunt is uh, the uh, vector database we are using. And um, it also downloads the, uh, API, uh, the, uh, the, the API server wasm file. And it also will download the uh, uh, Gannet domain binary. Gannet domain is a proxy. Uh, it can uh, it can make uh, it can convert the uh, it's the port the 8080 port into uh, a public URL so everyone can access your uh, your um, service. So next, I will run this command line to to set up the uh, environment path. And then I will use GANET init. So the GANET init will help us download the, uh, the chat model. Here I use the uh, Fastery Mini 4K model. Uh, it's, uh, the, uh, it's a small model released by, uh, by Microsoft. And uh, we, it will download the, uh, uh, the Nomic Embed Text model. It's the uh, embedding model. And then it will uh, it will download the uh, snapshot, uh, the uh, the QGround snapshot is our uh, knowledge uh, knowledge embeddings. Oh, it's quite slow. <laughs> So yeah.
Yes, uh, in this case, you will need a uh, rug because uh, uh, the, uh, the model is fine-tuned maybe by uh, 2023. So uh, uh, the model didn't know the knowledge in 2024. All your domain spec knowledge is too small. And uh, when the, the model trainer won't include this knowledge into their model. So in this case, you will need a, you will use rug. Uh, you can have a, a, a documentation that uh, uh, that uh, describes what is AI dev, what is AI dev, and what the, uh, the agenda. And then you ask, uh, uh, and then you build the uh, the rug application with this uh, this documentation. The model can answer questions about AI dev. Oh, so is there any other questions? Since the download is very slow. This. Have you tried uh, running this on, say, a full 70 billion parameter model on an A100? What uh, essentially did you guys try? What size of models have you tried running with uh, LAMEDGE? Okay, so. <laughs> All right, so um, maybe I'll answer this question because I, I work with Vivian and, uh, you know, so, um, yeah, the 70 b um, model we have tried. So we have a, we have a machine that's, uh, um, it's a Mac Studio. It has uh, 190 gigabytes of uh, memory that's combined CPU and, and GPU memory. The uh, Lama 370B, if you quantize it to Q5, it takes about 60 megabyte, uh, gigabytes of memory. So I, I believe you can do that on H100 as well. So on the Mac, you get about 10 tokens per second. You know, that's uh, because it's the same performance you get from Lama.cpp because, you know, um, the, the, the whole thing about Wasm is really, um, like uh, Vivian said, it's a, it's a cross-platform setup. So once it's actually performs a compute-heavy um, uh, application, it drops down to the native layer. So, you know, so um, there are different drivers that you can plug into the Wasm uh, WasmH runtime. So, you know, on the Mac, we could do the Lama.cpp, which use uh, both CPU and GPU on the Mac. We could also do the MLX, which have the, use some of the newer Apple Silicon features, right? So, um, I believe, you know, the, the, the chief advantage of using a Mac uh, is the large memory size that's available for cheap. You know, because even the H100, it's only like 80 gigabytes, right? You know, and uh, it's, uh, it's four times four time more expensive than the Mac. So, you know, ironically, Mac has become the cheapest computer that you can possibly buy for this type of applications. You know, that's, uh, so, you know, it's, uh, uh, so I thought that was, uh, that was, uh, so we, we have even run that the 300 billion parameters, you know, on the Grok, you know, on Grok 1 on, on, on Mac as well. Um, on the NVIDIA device, if there's enough memory, it runs a lot faster than the Mac. I think it runs uh, between five to seven times faster, you know, you know, so even a 70B model runs, I think, on the H100, which uh, I don't think we have formal benchmark, but, you know, that's, but, we, um, you know, um, you, you would be able to see, you know, third, uh, 20, 30, or at least, uh, you know, maybe even 50 tokens per second that's coming out of that, so. Uh, one more question then. Yeah. What about multi-GPU, uh, like, models that require, you know, distributed GPU for inference, they're too big for, uh, so, how would you deal with that considering Docker is? Right, so I think the inference, you know, when you talk about a distributed GPU, or we are still talking about the GPUs that are on the same machine. So at least they are, um, so you are loading the model from the same file system. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be quite difficult if you have the GPUs on different machines that you have to communicate through ethernet. I think that would be, um, you know, that would be too slow in my opinion. But um, for, you know, so say if you have a four 4090 cards that's uh, installed on the same machine, that's, um, you know, um, so um, in Wasm Edge, we have a, a, you know, in Llama Edge in particular, we have a command line flag or a, a, a API that allows you to specify which layers gonna be on GPU one, which layer gonna be on GPU two, and you know, things like that. It, it, it is gonna be a little slower than say, combine everything into a same virtual memory, but, uh, you know, um, but for inference, I, I think it's, 
it's still a lot faster than say you offload to the CPU, right? You know, so yeah, that's a, but that's a, that is a feature that is only if the underlying runtime supports it. So Llama.cpp does support that. Mm -hmm. um, the Mac, because it doesn't really have the concept of multiple GPUs. So if you use the Metal Framework or MX, uh, is this option just being ignored? You know, that's uh, so yeah. So it depends on you know so uh, you know what's the native layer that underneath uh, underneath what match? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is it done? Okay. Great. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's done. Let's um, use the gni start command. to start running the um, LM service. So firstly, it will inst uh, start the uh, QJoint instance. So, uh, again, QJoint is um, a vector database that uh, stores our you know, knowledge embeddings. And then it will run this uh, command line to uh, to start the uh, Lama API server. So this command line is uh, much more complete than the uh, first one. Uh, as you can see, that uh, it runs two models here. Uh, one is the uh, five three mini. Uh, is it, this is a, a general check like long model, and then it runs the the nomic embed text model. It's the uh, it's the embedding model um, to convert your query into embeddings um, to search the uh, embeddings. Okay, so um, then um, we will have a Gannet domain. The domain is a proxy, so we can uh, we can use this link to uh, uh, we can use this link to uh, to access our uh, our uh, our our service. Uh, let me check my um, knowledge base. Okay. So uh, what I'm uh, I'm running now is not the uh, policy guide. It's the um, um, it's um, uh, Apple WWDC uh, 2024 highlights article. So as you just mentioned, um, the, uh, the Apple WWDC uh, conference uh, just happened uh, several days ago. So uh, there is no uh, no light language model will use uh, will know the uh, the highlights at the conference. But I make this uh, uh, but I made the highlight article uh, as a uh, as a vector uh, as a knowledge embeddings. So um, this model right now can answer um, the uh, the questions about the Apple WDC. So uh, let's ask uh, um, uh, a question like. Uh, Tell me the highlights of WWDC. Hey. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I I know that's um, why this happened because the uh, prompt is says that uh, you are a helpful policy guide, so it will first answer the question as the role of a policy guide. Uh, let me ask another question. Okay. 
please start this. You change the prompt. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's let's go do that. Can I do it? Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a good illustration of uh, you know why those things have to work together. You know, because if there's one thing that doesn't work, you know, so you go in there and uh, into the configuration, and then where is the um, so you know yeah that's it, it's a good opportunity to dive in here because there's two prompts. There's one is called. Uh, You see, this system prompt was changed, right? You know, system prompt become you are technical reporter and blah, 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 blah. However, the rack prompt wasn't changed because when you search the vector database and you get a result back, you don't want to use your regular system prompt. You want to use a special prompt that asks it to consider what the search result. And uh, because um, and sh uh, we forgot to change this, so it still thinks it took a, a per persona of a Paris guide. So we're going to uh, delete that. And uh, um, and uh, use I think you let's use the same prompt as the system prompt that you are a technical reporter focused on WWDC or whatever. And uh, uh, what I'm gonna say is that please um, yes, please ah, please answer questions based on the context below. And uh, as you can see, we have a, we have a, a line break, and then um, you know, the search results that come from the uh, vector database, which is uh, um, you know, WWDC, um, I think it's WWDC, right? I mean, it's not WDDC. Um, you know, so that would come back from the um, from, from the work the database would be appended behind the stash line so that it would know that, um, you know, uh, the model would know it needs to answer questions based on that. So we save that. I think all we need to do is to do Gynet. Oh, uh, did I? Okay, let me, sorry, yeah. let me try that. So let's fix the typo here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, because a lot of things were just uh, tried last night, right? <laughs> you know, that's, uh, you know, uh, it's all very new, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm not familiar with this, uh, with this machine, so, you know, that's, uh, so if I do, I believe I can just do Gynet start again. And uh, it's gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna delete all those chat histories. Clicker all. Okay. So you should um, wait for it to start and then you can start again. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So let's ask um, a simple question. When can I buy Apple Vision Pro? In Singapore. Okay, it, it works. So the uh, the model size I can buy uh, Vision Pro in Singapore starting from this month June, uh, which is announced as the um, Apple WDC 2024. So, prompt is very important. <laughs> okay, so uh, next I want to show you the uh, the log. Um, we can let me see. Is this easy? To
Uh, so what I want to show you is um, uh, here. You can uh, see here. So the uh, the application server is searching uh, similar points from the from from QDRAM instance uh, because it converts my uh, my questions into embeddings, and then it will find the uh, it find the one similar uh, point. Uh, you can see here the uh, the point uh, uh, zero score is uh, very high. It's uh, it's uh, one point uh, uh, one point seven, and the source is beginning this month June. Apple Vision Pro is also coming to more countries and uh, and regions, including China mainland and also Singapore. So and uh, uh, at this step, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the retrieval count context will return to the light language model, and finally, the, it will answer my question as using. Using uh, this as a uh, system message, so it, uh, there is the uh, the you are a technical reporter focusing on Apple WDC 2024. This is our rug prompts, and uh, the uh, beginning this month, but uh, but uh, and the UK, this is um, uh, the context that the uh, embedding model um, uh, retrieved, and then this is my uh, question. So this is uh, how the uh, how rug works. It will uh, retrieve the. Uh, similar content from the vector, vector database, and um, uh, plus my uh, and uh, and then return to the light long model, and the light model will answer my question with uh, the uh, rug prompt uh, with the retrieval context uh, and the uh, question. So uh, so I hope through this uh, demo uh, we we'll, uh, we we'll learn how uh, how rug application works, and uh, we also learn that uh, uh, prompt engineering is uh, an important role. Let me check this time. Okay, so we uh, we have uh, uh, several minutes. So, uh, so next demo is uh, uh, is to show how to uh, integrate this uh, OpenAI compatible API server to other uh, frameworks. So, and. Uh, uh, since the API server follows the OpenAI spec, so you you can integrate um, uh, Lamage or uh, Gannet with uh, uh, other app-based framework like Defy, anything uh, LM, uh, LobbyChat, OpenWeb UI, and uh, Fade Data. Uh, I want to show you uh, how to uh, uh, how to integrate Lamage with the um, uh, OpenWeb UI or LobbyChat. Since I don't have enough time, so I will choose the simple one on uh, LobbyChat. So you can use um, uh, the OpenWeb UI suppose uh, suppose uh, suppose rug too. You can upload your PDF PDF file to OpenWeb UI and uh, and use the uh, uh, Lamage as the um, backend. Uh, if if you upload. Uh, and PDF file to OpenWeb UI. Uh, it's uh, the OpenWeb UI will call the uh, will call uh, Lamage's uh, embedding endpoints to convert your PDF into uh, embeddings. Uh, the OpenWeb UI is um, uh, is complicated, uh, but we have some more, uh, we have uh, we have documentation about this. Um, if you want to check this more, you can uh, go into our documentation. So uh, the first demo, I will. I will also use the uh, uh, lobby chat because it's um, I don't I don't need to uh, uh, run an open instance in my computer. So let's go to the setting again, and uh, we also choose the open app here, and we also uh, we change the API policy address. First. So in this case, we have two models here. Um, it shows that one is the fast three mini model. Uh, it's the chat model. And then we, it also gets the embedding model we are using. So uh, again, we will choose the chat model here. And then we go back to the, uh, to the, to the chat page and choose the chat model, uh, fast three mini. And uh, let's ask uh, uh, another question. Tell me the lights. Uh, 
Let's try again. <laughs> OK. So this time, the, uh, the, uh, the chatbot answers very well. Uh, it's a, uh, it concludes several uh, highlights from the uh, WWDC 2024 conference. Because it's running on my um, MacBook, so it's, uh, it's a little slow. Yeah, so um, the lobby chat doesn't support rug, but with the, uh, with the, the API server, that, uh, support, uh, with the rug API server, the lobby chat now can answer, uh, can answer questions uh, uh, with uh, the uh, domain specific knowledge. So let's go to my uh, slides. So uh, finally, now you can use the uh, container tools to manage your uh, IAM workloads. Uh, this is the uh, uh, architecture of the uh, container tools. Uh, using uh, using uh, Wasm as the uh, as the uh, container, so uh, you can uh, you can use Kubernetes to deploy and um, uh, to uh, to copy and deploy the lightweight Wasm file on any device, uh, whether it's a GPU or you know, whether it's a um, uh, CPU, uh, whether it's on the on the cloud or it's on the edge. So Kubernetes is a um, um, complex thing. So you can go to our uh, documentation to see how it works. Uh, okay, so I think that's all my demos, and uh, thank you.